Hi, I'm David. Welcome to another episode of Changing Times. Today's guest is Oliver Jude. He's a young entrepreneur and fashion designer. Please enjoy and stay safe. Hi, Oliver. How's everything going? Hi, David. You okay? Everything's doing good. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, we're all right. We're doing, we're ticking over. We're, we're keeping busy. How's things with yourself? Yes, doing well. Enjoying the weird but wonderful sunshine. But yeah, doing well. So tell everyone, first of all, what do you do? So I'm a young entrepreneur, six, now 16 years old, um, spreading positivity across the globe using my story and clothing as a key aspect to spread positivity and get the message out there that we, we all are fine and we all can be who we want to be. Amazing. So obviously with everything that's happened with the pandemic and, and lockdown and everything, how has all that affected you, your business and stuff? Um, so the whole pandemic, obviously, it's a sad subject and it's it's not the greatest of things that is going on currently in life. Um, sales have been slow um, and I have just been invested in by a company. Um, so I've got loads of new machinery and t-shirts and hoodies and vinyl as I'm wearing one now one of uh, unknown hoodie which I'm doing um yeah so th- things have gone slow but I'm getting there if you know yeah. what I mean so has it given you like a creative buzz with what's been happening like have you been looking at obviously new designs the trend and trendy sayings that everyone is saying now yeah, de- definitely. I think because there's nothing else to do. Obviously, I haven't got school. I haven't got kind of anything in the outer world to worry about anymore. It's just like my brain's wanting to go 100 miles an hour. And it's like I'll be awake till like 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, I need to do something. And my, my brain's buzzing. I need to do something creative. I want to feel like I've done something and feel like I've done something productive that day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've got new designs coming in. Small steps, but big leaps. That's really good. So, have you been reflecting on, obviously, we, we, we know each other quite well and we've worked together and we've done stuff together. So, have, has this time given you like time to reflect of where you was, what you were doing and, like, the calm now, basically? Uh, I, think, I think one thing that's hit me is, obviously, I was our most weekends more or less every weekend at events networking um you know being out with celebrities and good friends of mine and and I think now it's it's only it's only hit me that it's like I haven't spoke to like some people in like a year like the last time I messaged them was saying happy birthday and I was like have I really not spoke to you in that long so I just it's like I feel bad in in a way that I haven't spoke to these people but then it's like my my the world that I was in at the time before the pandemic was just kind of pushing me on and I didn't have this time to reflect on on yeah. things so now it's now the time's come to do that it's it's quite it's quite powerful and heart touching really do you find that you get your attitude going to change when the new normal happens and are you going to be the way you was like a like a bull in a china shop to get as much as you can done in a short space of time. But yeah, definitely. Yeah. Can, like slow down a little and make time for yourself and friends. Yeah, I think I think when when the whole world does go back to normal and the whole pandemic kind of disappears and we we eventually go back to normal at some point. You know, obviously we're expecting on the seventh of May. I think it is or Friday for. Boris to announce what the next plans are and I think when the time comes we we're all going to be very um very aware of what the world can do to us and what how powerful things can get for us to end up in lockdown and for us not to be allowed out I will definitely be one of them who will think twice of doing doing things and think think okay. twice of do I really need to go to that place yeah like is it essential um and yeah I just think we all need to just kind 
kind of just reflect on every situation we're in and, and really understand whether it is essential or non-essential or whether it's going to, I think, I think something for me personally is, is it going to benefit me? Yeah. So is it, you know, am I, am I going to be able to benefit from it? Am I going to be able to gain a new customer, gain a new client, gain a new friend? And I think that's what we should all be kind of doing. Well, that's it. Um, I think everyone, it's been everyone a chance to, to reflect on what the business is then and what they want it to be now. So have you been making more business decisions of for the future and, and how are you going to hopefully put, put them into action? Um, I mean, I've made some decisions. Obviously, I have now the decision of college in September and further education, which is something I'm finding very difficult. Obviously, school are on top of us now and saying, you know, you, you kind of now need to make a decision. You know, I should, in yeah. the next week or so, I should be sitting my GCSEs and it's like they're not happening. And I just think I have made some decisions that are going to benefit me, but I just, I think for me it's commitment because I, I have a choice whether do I really want to go to college to, whenever ed- education has ever been my thing, obviously, as you know. Um, so it's whether I want to go and do two years in college on a course and, and, and not benefit from it and not gain something from it because then I'm just wasting two years, another two years of my life when I could be putting that two years into my business. I'm doing a lot more with my business, which is what I want to do. So it's just... A lot of people could be watching this and go, but you're only young. You've got plenty of time in in your life to build that business. I I, I think, you know, obviously the time I've had, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and things. And there's some some people that are quite influencers and, and, you know, they're very inspirational. And it's always live live your life like you want it you know you know don't take every day for granted because you don't know when it's going to end and you know it's kind of an it's a hard thing to say but it's an it's an easy way to put it you know we don't we don't know obviously with the current pandemic you know there's been thousands and thousands of people that have died just from something that has just appeared out of nowhere oh well yeah it's just a strange, strange time that everyone's going through. So how have you been in yourself? Obviously, lifestyle has changed dramatically yeah, by not going out and stuff. And how has that all changed? How is your mental health and stuff? I found things difficult, definitely. It's been... Because obviously, I'm... I'm used to really long days of, you know, leaving the house at like half past six in the morning to go to schools. You know, my life has always been surrounded by people. Yes. Yeah. You know, obviously getting on the train and coming home and then getting home at like 10 past six and then going back out and eventing. I've, it's just, it's been quite boring, but then it's been quite hard to actually... Why, why should I get out of bed? You know, why can't I just spend all day in bed? And yeah. it's, you know, it affect, it does affect your mental health so much because there's not, there's nothing to do. No. But there isn't. And, you know, I just think being indoors and obviously I'm very grateful to have, we've got a balcony um, or, you know, people with back gardens and front gardens, I think to really make use of that space because you need to let your brain wander somewhere and you need to let, let your brain just have, a moment to just kind of relax and release. So what does the future hold for Oliver Jude? A lot of things. I'm hoping to, as we've discussed, bring out a documentary about um, autism and the educational educational system and how it's affected me personally and how it's affected other people as well. Because, you know, when I first started out, I had a lot of parents messaging me and I still do have messages every now and again of you know my my son my daughter's going through this you know we're they're moving from primary to high school what what they're going to expect and it's difficult to reply to them because obviously everyone's different um so i'm hoping to bring out like a little small documentary 
to just kind of be be you and you know just I don't know how to describe but then to just be you and not let anyone else kind of take that away from you and just like I've said before live your life as you want it and and don't do what I did you know yeah use my mistakes as a learning thing so what were your mistakes what can you share with everyone that's watching now I think what what I went through with my first school would be to just if you feel like you're obviously parents out there if you feel like your child or children are suffering in any way or I've always been one of them to you know I'd never speak to my mum or dad about things in school and and then it builds up and then in my position it'd build up and then I'd end up I'd shout at someone or I'd do something wrong and then yeah. be like a full meltdown um so I just think people out there just make make the decisions that are going to be for the better and not for the worst don't let things carry on too long because in my position I I we let things go on a bit too long and between the school and the people there was no relationship there anymore there was respect completely gone and it, it just it, 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 I felt like it turned into like a bullying thing of it was just more repetitive of like we'll do this and we'll wait for him to do that to do that um yeah it was it was hard but just make decisions for the better yeah but look at you now you've got a thriving clothing range that you've just you did London Fashion Week I did. Um, did. So what can you say your highlights were before the pandemic that you can look back and go, I don't believe that happened? Definitely London Fashion Week, for for definite. Um, There's there's obviously obviously being runner-up at the Positive Awards and then winning the Pride of St Helens. It was... I just, I don't, I feel like it... I feel like I brag about it too much, but then people are like, no, I love it. I love it. And I just think it's, it's me. And it's like, wow, have have I really done that? You know, I've been, been updating my website recently, obviously with the current pandemic and things to try and scale things out and just distance things. Um, I'm putting all new stuff on there. It's like, have I really done that? Have I really, it was like, we was looking into one thing and it was celebrities. So obviously as you know, and people watching will know that I, I'm friends with a lot of celebrities and network with a lot and meet a lot every now and again. And I've met over a hundred celebrities, David. Like, it's unbelievable. I, I Not don't... as many as me, but we'll let, we'll let you talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, I think it's, it's very, very overwhelming when I look back and it's yeah. like, I've really done that. Well, you did. Um, you know, you, you, you're certainly spreading the positive message, especially with your clothing. So for everyone that's watching, where, where can they find you if they want to keep up to date on you and if they want to purchase any of your clothing range, where so can they find everyone, you? Everyone can find me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Snap, I'm on Snapchat. I've got a business of Snapchat, which is very exciting. Um, yeah, everything's Oliver Dew Clothing. Uh, website, oliverdewclothing.com. You know, you can email me, call me, all the contact details are on the website. Um, yeah. Look, though, thank you very much for your time, Oliver, and sharing thank your you. story. Yeah. And hopefully it will spread a bit of inspiration. And Definitely. So, yeah, thank you very much again. Thank you very much for inviting me, David. All right, no problem.